moment for you down there, but trust me, it's about to Alright, Chad, check this out. Who needs to be good at drilling anymore? The fastest drillers in the West, baby. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of the GTN Line Diamond Casino Heist Master Guide. Today's episode is for the cream of the crop of casino robbers, the speedrunners trying to do the heist finale as fast as possible. As you saw in the intro clip and title, we're going to be talking about animation skipping, the new casino heist meta. Now first I want to give a huge shout out to my friends Nerida and Benson for telling me about this little trick. It's, it's pretty sweet. How the trick works is very simple, when you're in the middle of an animation, you simply pause the game and go over to the online tab, and it will either cancel the animation, or just skip it altogether. And in the casino heist specifically, this can be used to make your heist runs faster. There are five general animations that I would say are in the casino heist. You got swiping the keycards, drilling into the vault, hacking, collecting the loot, and drilling deposit boxes, and I'm going to show you how effective this trick is if you do it during each animation. For keycard swiping, it's not that effective, it just looks really funny if anything. The animation still plays out, except you'll be able to walk around while the card is being swiped, so there's just a floating card swiping itself on the keypad. This one doesn't really save you that much time, if any at all, just kind of gives you more freedom and you're not stuck in an animation forever. Drilling into the vault, however, is really the main reason I'm making this video, because you can completely skip the vault drilling game, which can save you a good 25 to 35 seconds if you are good at drilling, and if you suck at drilling, it can save you even more time. Now you have to be really careful about doing this trick for the vault drilling though. You want to wait until the UI pops up showing the locks and thermal map before pausing the game and doing it. Because if you do it before that, so you will actually get stuck and then you'll have to restart the whole heist from the beginning. And when I say beginning, I mean you have to leave the game and restart the heist from the lobby screen because it's impossible to kill yourself when you're next to the vault right here, on Silent Sneaky anyways. So just make sure both players wait until the UI pops up before doing anything. The first animation that comes up when you're in the vault is hacking, and no, you cannot skip hacking altogether, you still have to do the minigame, but you can skip the before and after hack animations. Your character takes forever to put in the USB drive thing, so you can skip directly to the hack if you do it at the right time, and then once the hacking screen is done, you can do the trick again to speed up the process of taking out the USB drive. It's not the biggest time saver in the world, it'll save you probably a few seconds at most, but it just feels better having the animations be much quicker. For collecting the loot, if it's a gold, cash, or diamonds heist, the animation skip does absolutely nothing. In fact, it even slows you down somewhat, so don't do it for this one. You can't just grab everything at once with it, unfortunately. For artwork, it does work. You can exit the animation and walk around while you're still cutting the painting. Looks really goofy. I don't really recommend it, just because your camera is still going to be at the same spot on the painting when you do it. I would say for paintings, it's best to do it near the end to get a head start because you can actually skip the animation of putting it into your bag and you can keep walking while the duffel bag is just putting the painting in the bag itself. That's really the only benefit there. For drilling deposit boxes, you can't actually skip the animation for drilling the boxes like you can for the entire vault, but you can skip the animation a little bit for putting the loot into your duffel bag. Again, it's a very minor decrease in time though that you probably won't notice that much. If you combine all these things together though, you can really save a good amount of time on your run. We were able to get the Elite Challenge with a Gold Heist, with grabbing Daily Vault twice on a Silent Sneaky Gold Heist, which of course has you running really slow after you collect all of that gold, and in general it's probably one of the slowest heists even with speedrunning. And that was mostly attributed to skipping the Vault Drilling, that's really where this trick shines. Even though this video was mainly for the heist, this trick does work outside of the heist. I was having a lot of fun in my casino penthouse with it. I managed to make 4 cups and the alcohol itself float in the air. Same thing with my penthouse phone, it was just floating there and it made for some really funny moments. So try this out, you know, find some funny things to do with it and let me know what you guys find. And that's pretty much going to be all for this video. Let me know in the comments section if you learned something new. And if you did enjoy or found it helpful to you, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.